Hello, uh, this is Rob from Performance Check, and I have just opened my lovely copy of Stone Rift. Uh, that the wonderful people at Absolute Tabletop have sent me. Um, I'm kind of at a loss for words. For someone who has followed um, the Provokers games um, for quite a long time now, I'm, uh, I'm guessing over about two years? Yeah, I guess so. Um, I've always been really, really taken with Erinoth. And I opened this supplement, and the first thing, and I'm going to do a proper review uh, on this on my channel. I don't really do reviews, but I think I might start, and this will be the first one that I, I review. But you can probably guess uh, my feelings about this. Obviously, I have personal investment with the fact that I'm uh, a big fan of the Provokers, but just scrolling through it, uh, I'm holding my phone, looking through my laptop, so you must apologise. I must apologise. But um, really quickly, you open this book. And I've always been a fan of the Absolute Tabletop work, but this is a... There is a, a noticeable increase in quality. Like, I'm not saying that the others didn't have good quality. They were all really good cop... Um, you know, they were really good... Really good. So for this to just completely outshine them as I open the book, as I open the PDF in front of me, that gives me really positive thoughts uh, about this. You open it up and you are first of all greeted with, um, and I'm not going to read things out because <laughs> you should buy the book and read it, but you get the uh, the little bit at the beginning that says uh, Erinoth, an ancient and enigmatic land riddled with long buried secrets and plagued by undying darkness, forged in dragonfire and quenched in the blood of the gods. The the tag that goes with all of the Erinoth supplements now. And then you turn the page and there is that beautiful uh, Nate van der Zee penned Erinoth map with all of those amazing names. I always say to Matt about his names. He's got a thing. He's got names down. Like, they're never too complicated. Like you find in a lot of other fantasy uh, genre uh, content. Um, but they're all really memorable. I've said to him before. Gwinterod. It just rolls out of your mouth and down a hill. And it just keeps rolling. <laughs> um, and then you see. And this is something that surprised me. Uh, there is a. Map of the West and Southlands, which is where the Provokers campaign, the first Provokers campaign takes place. And it's gorgeous. And it has, like, fold lines, like it's a used map. Inspired, guys. Absolutely inspired. And then, after the, the, the third scroll through this, you then come across the Stone Rift map, the Dwarven City of Stone Rift. And it is, it's like the books I used to read as a child. There are, it's it's a cutaway, because obviously most of the most of Stone Rift is beneath the surface. You you actually get a cutaway look at what it looks like. It's absolutely stunning, absolutely stunning, and that is before I've even got to the um the actual title page before you begin the the supplement properly, before the open gaming license and the contents page. So that's my thought so far of the first three pages, um, or four pages if you're counting the uh, the bit about Aaron off at the very beginning. Um, amazing, guys. Absolutely phenomenal. You have outdone yourselves in every way, and I can tell that just from those pages. I am going to be looking through this eagerly, and I will do my very first performance check review on um, Stone Rift. My absolute tabletop. Thanks for watching, guys, and I hope all of your performances are up to standard.